So hello and welcome back to another video on Guma D coins and banknotes. My name is Glenn. Today we're talking about German coins. Uh, these videos I'm going to be German, doing German for Reich coins because they seem to be very popular. Uh, not with collectors that you know are right wing or, or Nazi inclined, but now just from a historical point of view, coin collectors actually do like them. So the first coin we have is a ten Reich penny. And this coin was issued during the Second World War. So during the Second World War, the Germans orientated their currency, their coins, to reduce uh, nickel, copper, and so they can direct those to the war effort. And they issued the zinc coins for the 1, 5, and 10 Reichsfennigs. And the 50 was an aluminium coin. And as you can see, this one's not in a very good grade. So, as a zinc coin, if you have seen zinc metals, well, you've got Google, you can look it up. Zinc's like a silverish, greyish colour. So, it doesn't look like this black colour here. And I've been trying to work out the actual reaction series to the actual metal. Uh, it's actually a bit hard. So, what I believe the black is, is uh, zinc carbonate. So, that's the chemical formula. So, you've got zinc oxide and carbonate is the CO3 and the white is just zinc oxide so what I think is happening here is uh this is reacting with carbon dioxide and water to form the black and then the carbon dioxide has been giving off to form the actual white which is pretty powdery so this is Corroding quite fast Okay, so this coin is from the G mint mark, which is Württemberg or Karlsruhe. Here I have some information so Wurt So the capital of Württemberg state at the time was Karlsruhe uh, This mint was opened in 1827 and it, This coin specifically has a mintage of 20 million two hundred ninety five thousand two hundred fifty eight any verified value, which is pretty much this coin. I've got four dollars, but you know, like eight to nine dollars is more likely uh, for these coins. These prices have been going up pretty fast, extremely fine. I would say probably at least twenty dollars in good condition, and uh, forty, yeah, I would say probably sixty. So it's just my guesstimate on what coin sales. Uh, to get these coins in uncirculated grey is actually quite hard. So as you can see, this one's probably very fine. And you can see it's bubbly, so that's corrosion. So that coin is not doing well. And yeah, I've got dirt in my fingernails. Anyway, so yeah, that is a 1942 10 Reichsvenig from Germany. And oh, I've got another... Where's the other German coin I've got? Okay, so here's another one. Uh, that one's in better condition, but as you can see, it is corroding and it does have the white. So it's got zinc carbonate and zinc oxidoid. So these coins are not going to last too long in the ground in the archaeological record. They'll probably totally disintegrate, unlike these bronze and copper coins so this is a liard from Liege as you can see it's actually been in the ground probably about 200 years so it's actually survived quite well anyway hope this helps you with your coin collecting thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collection thank you and goodbye